Imagine Thomas Young in 1801, holding a simple card with two tiny slits cut into it. When candlelight passed through, he didn't just see two bright spots on the wall. Instead, a pattern of alternating bright and dark bands appeared, like frozen ripples on water. This was shocking because according to Newton's particle theory of light, adding a second slit should only make the wall brighter, never darker. Yet here was light interfering with itself, behaving like a wave. With nothing more than slits, sunlight, and keen observation, Young challenged Newton's dominance and proved that light could act as a wave. What looked like a simple classroom trick turned into one of the most important discoveries in physics, and today, the same double-slit experiment lies at the heart of quantum mechanics, showing us that light, and even matter, can behave both like waves and particles at the same time. At that time, most people believed in Isaac Newton's idea that light was made of tiny particles. A few, like Huygens, had suggested that light might be waves, but Newton's reputation was so strong that the particle theory was more widely accepted. Young, a brilliant thinker interested in everything from languages to medicine, was fascinated by color, the eye, and the unanswered questions Newton had left behind. He proposed a simple but bold test. If light were waves, then two nearby openings should create an interference pattern, bright and dark bands where the waves met. But if light were just particles, there would only be two bright spots. In lectures and later in a published paper, Young introduced this daring idea, setting the stage for his famous double-slit experiment. Thomas Young's experiment was beautifully simple. He let sunlight pass through a small hole, then through two narrow slits and onto a screen. Instead of just two bright spots he saw alternating bright and dark bands, an interference pattern, just like ripples in water. This could only happen if light was behaving as a wave, with peaks and troughs either strengthening or cancelling each other. But this idea was shocking at the time. Newton's particle theory of light was dominant, and the thought that light could cancel itself seemed almost impossible. Many scientists doubted Young, arguing his results were too simple and not mathematically strong enough. The turning point came a few years later, when Augustin Jean Fresnel gave a rigorous wave theory. One critic, Poisson, mocked it by saying the theory predicted a bright spot in the middle of a shadow, but when tested, the spot actually appeared. This dramatic proof finally gave strong support to the wave theory, and Young's work was vindicated. Young also went further. He used interference to measure the wavelength of different colors of light, showing that color wasn't just a sensation, but a measurable property of waves. This transformed optics into a precise science. Later the double-slit experiment revealed even deeper mysteries. In the 20th century scientists found that even single photons or electrons sent one at a time could build up the same interference pattern. This meant particles behaved like waves too, a discovery that led to the strange world of quantum mechanics and the concept of wave-particle duality. Thomas Young never set out to unlock the mysteries of quantum physics. He only wanted to prove that light was a wave. But when scientists later repeated the double-slit experiment with single particles, the results were mind-bending. Even when fired one at a time photons or electrons still built up the same interference pattern, as if each particle somehow went through both slits at once and interfered with itself. Richard Feynman once said this experiment contains the only mystery of quantum mechanics because it challenges our basic intuition. Some theories suggest particles are guided by hidden waves while others say nature simply doesn't let us see both its wave and particle sides at the same time and if we try to observe which slit a particle goes through the interference disappears altogether. What began as Young's simple test for waves became a window into the deepest puzzle of physics, how reality itself works at its most fundamental level.